Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, um, I asked, you know, what questions do you have? What questions can I answer? Um, and Nicola um, has really done well and asked me loads of questions and I might not be able to get through them all because I'm going to keep this video short. But I'm going to go through them um, one by one and hopefully give you the answers that you're wanting. So the first answer, uh, uh, question that she's asked is, um, what are the ha assessments like both at uni and at placement? So obviously I can only answer for myself um, and the uh, fact that I'm in Aberdeen, but, um, and I know that different universities have done it in different ways. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'll just go ahead and, and tell you what um, ours was like. So, um, First of all, the assessments at uni, they are academic. So something that has been um, commented on um, when people have been doing degrees and things like that, dependent on what their degree was in, depends on how academic their writing had to be. Um, but essentially it does have to be academic. Um, it is a very, very different style of writing. I haven't written like that since I've done my thesis, which was 20 years ago. So if you've never done it before, don't worry, you can learn about it. Um, how I learned about it was really reading other people's um, thesis, um, other people, my own, I, I read my own one. Um, I also got a very good friend that was, um, uh, is going towards a doctorate, so used to doing um, reading and writing th that sort of level um, and she looked over um, my writing as well. Um, thank you very much, Carol. Um, and yeah, so I was able to sort of reach out um, and uh, look at other other people's writing to sort of give me an idea and in most libraries you'll have access to other thesis um, so you can see the types of writing um, that you'll be writing about. Um, the previous assessment was about uh, social justice and inclusion um, and I've talked about that before. I'll link the video um, somewhere up there. Um, and this one is a practitioner inquiry. I still, you know, I really wanted to um, have it started um, about a month ago, but I just, I just don't know um, where I'm going with it. I don't really know how to do it. I am right now. I'm like, Ugh. Um, but and there are a lot of other people are as well. Um, with this practitioner inquiry, I feel and a lot of other people feel that I need to know the class in order to see what I'm going to talk about, what I'm going to pick about. Um, because when it comes to practitioner inquiry, I do think that, you know, basically it's about what you, what you can um, improve on with your teaching. And in order to do that, I think you need to know the class and there'll be a natural need Um arising from you know what what the class needs um so yes that's a it's that's a challenge a challenge that i will probably talk about because i still don't know where i'm going with it but um the the uh, assessments at placement um oh relax relax um the best th piece of advice that i can give you is to ensure that um you pretend like that person is not in the room um if you're lucky enough to have your uh, mentor teacher in the room for most of the time you actually get used to having someone else in the room and it it becomes background noise you know it just it doesn't really matter so what's what's another person so please 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 relax it's not about you it's about the children really cannot emph emphasize that enough that actually you concentrate on the on the children and they'll concentrate on you so don't you worry about you you just do you and concentrate on the children um the kinds of things that they're looking for they're looking to see uh, you know have you got a good handle on the class can you um 
work well with the children if somebody you know um is doing something inappropriate can you you know can you bring them back into the class can you you know uh, not bring them back into the class but bring them back into the active learning can you re-engage them um do you have a good rapport with the children one thing that was noted um on quite a number of people and actually suggested that they go to um, CBBS and see how um, teachers talk. Now, my initial placement was with a primary six class. Now, I'm not going to talk to them like this and have a nice little conversation with, oh, that's so amazing. Um, but when they are talking to me, um, the kind of I'm actually, it is now natural. I've got three kids of my own, so I do tend to talk um, naturally to children in a a nice, um, I, I suppose, sort of sing songy way. Um, but I'm just trying to think the kind of language I would use or the kind of, um, what they call cadence, which means <laughs> a variation in your tone. Um, Caroline, Caroline will love that. Um, but it just, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, so if, if somebody brought me someone, I'd say, yep, that's really good work actually. Um, I really like the way that you um, use different adjectives. And did you get that from the thesaurus? So it's, you're not talking down to them. You're, you're talking at the same level to them, but you're ensuring that, that the voice goes up and down. So I do think you need that. Um, to make sure that you connect with them and that you don't sound so stern. So that's a little bit of advice for you. Um, yes, uh, and I, I'm gonna be having another assessment um, from someone else. I do get um, really worked up about it. Um, I'll do another video with that shows you my folder. Um, so I'll show you my folder from my, my first um, experience. Um, yeah it's not that you don't get worked up about it but at the time for that moment in time just you'll be so used to concentrating on the children that you just remain you know concentrating on the children so yeah is it scary yes um are they are the tutors nice yes are they thorough yes do you have to do your homework or can, can you wing it no um cannot wing it you have to do your homework you have to um you know you you need to put your all into it and that's what they're looking for they're looking for you know does this matter to you have you put effort into it um and you know have you thought out the process plan 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 um and the biggest thing is is make sure that you've got your plan in place um to plan for all eventualities um if you can plan for all eventualities you're classroom management will um, take care of itself basically um yes so i'm, I'm i think i'm gonna leave I, I actually only answered two of your questions there nicola so i'm gonna leave it there um i will answer the other questions um in other videos um but yes if there's anything that you feel of you if you're not sure about placement if you're not sure about assessments you know comment down below and let me know your other questions sure that you've got a lot of questions coming up um but in the meantime guys don't forget to be the very best you can be bye